Hey guys, it's Nathan, aka Xander here, and we're back doing commentating. I'm in the hot seat today, and we're looking at this is a game between myself and uh, Luca Marini. Uh, it was, you can notice the zero points here for the league match because it wasn't. Um, it was one of the the earlier games. I think it was the first week. Uh, sped up, it's I think it's sped up to times two or times one point seven or something. So that we'll be able to smash through these games pretty quick. You can see I'm on vampires down the bottom here, and I can't remember what um, Luca was on. See, we're getting some card advantage out of these vamps. Dusk Legion's doing work. Authority of the consoles here, I'm not too worried about because I'm not running haste, but. I think it was a misplay there by uh, Luca, sacking a scavenger grounds when there's nothing in the graveyard. <laughs> I can't see the chat here because I've actually recorded over the with my overlay on there. Uh, swinging in, ready. Destiny's making them two twos. Luca down to sixteen. See, I'm holding fatal push up. I do have some answers. <laughs> See, cast out's gonna probably get rid of the. Yep, gets rid of the radiant destiny. I'm certainly not missing land drops. <laughs> Play another radiant destiny, maybe vampires. Ah, uh, Luke goes to 14. All answers all the time. I don't actually remember how any of these games went, so this is... <laughs> See the cast out again? Probably hitting the Radiant Destiny again. Yep. Finding the cast out. Getting my destiny back. Fumigate's gonna blow off the board. Gain him cold life, goes back up to 14. Getting a bit flooded with the lands at the moment. We need to be drawing any creatures, which I'm not getting. More lands, again, not what I need. Queen's Commission is going to get a couple of vampires with lifelink on the board. Authority's going to gain him some life, so he's going to go back up to 16. <laughs> Scavenger Ground's not too useful in this matchup, but I do like running at main board. Ah, uh, yep. I remember, remember exactly what he's playing now. It's a, uh, a second Sun's deck. Excellence Binding the Sun. Luca at 12. And we'll see the approach played out here. So it puts me at a race. You'll see that the push and the Thopters arrest are useless to me in this matchup. Does he have another approach in hand? And that's the game.
Straight into game two here. Legion's landing into the Lieutenant. I've got a pretty strong start. Two two lifelink, doing some work. Luca drops to eighteen. Bloodfast to try and get that card advantage. I'd come out of the sideboard there, I was need to race him. Zyka Relic. So even though, though White hasn't got a whole lot of ramp, it does use a lot of the um the stones and artifacts that reduce cost. So that he can play his second sons a lot sooner. And then it's just a, a deck that's chockers with removal. Down to ten. But we'll see if sideboard piece come in here with the regal. Court of the Feast, building my board. <laughs> Luca threatening probably a Fumigate next turn. Oh, plays out the sun. Five, six. So you can play... <laughs> yeah, you can play um, second sun. Pay life, draw a card. Pay life, draw a card. Down to 18. I know I've got to go sideways here because I'm running out of time. Flipping the Legion's Landing. Blocks on the cats, blocks on Regal. Second sun gets him more time, more cards. Yeah, with all the lifelink from the cats, it's just crazy. Regal's such a good card. see approach not oh, binding <laughs> get the legion in or the legion no gets rid of my draw card it's trying to shut me out of the game treasure map another another um thing for filtering his draw and adding more ramp later on and plays another relic I'm not sure why he doesn't swing in there, because there's no no downside to him trying to swing. Remember that this was pre Dominaria, so there was no steel always. Second Ifni is now, because I know I've got to de deal with Regal. So it's a wonderful thing. I probably should have tried to deal with Regal before I swung in at all. <laughs> Sacks one of his relics, goes back up to 15. He's going to scry with the treasure map. Does that on upkeep, so that when he draws, it's the, the card he wants. Gets an additional card from Immortal Sun. Plays a Field of Ruin. Now he can blow up my, my flipped um, Legion's Landing. Or, or my Ifni, to stop my... He's just going to play out an approach anyway. And by this point, I just can't can't get through the line.
Gotta get rid of that cat. Attempt to go sideways. So it was sitting at 7, now it's sitting at 6, draws an extra card, it's sitting at 5, draws a card, it's sitting at 4. And that's if he hasn't already got another one. Baffling End's going to hit my Legionnaire Lieutenant, so he's going to slow me right down. Back to a Crawl again, and he's still sitting at 16, so it's not looking too good. I'll draw to 26, which I don't care about because I'm just dead to a, an approach. He's sitting at 23 and he passes the turn. So I've got a little bit of draw card that I can play out here, which I do play out the Dusk Legion Zealot. Lose a life for a card, get a binding. I could get rid of the sun. Yep. Swinging in with one ones. <laughs> Treasure map. Now I can tap to draw a card. And I'm pretty sure that puts it in his hand. No. <laughs> binding, my binding. Gets his son back. And I can't do 20 damage in a turn. I'm not sure if I just succeed, concede here because it should be pretty much over. So Luca goes 2-0 in standard, and then we move on to modern. Uh, this is a brew I've actually put together. <laughs> that um, It's Jund uh, Hulk. So pro it's a Jund Protein Hulk. So I'm just trying to che cheat out the Protein Hulk, and then the deck's full of a heap of zero-cost stuff. And then the artisans and that that ping uh, when your creatures die, and then I just sack, sack them all to uh, the guy who scries for one. So he, I'm, tr I'm just trying to ramp as fast as I can. So that I can get the, through the breach and get the combo. He plays out Utopia Sprawl. Stone Rain. Yeah, I remember this game. <clears throat> so I'm trying to ramp and he's playing Ponza. So i just pretty sure I just lose... Because without being able to play any of my... Well, without my ramp actually being able to do anything. I'm trying to push forward in the game, and his his deck's set pur purpose is destroying my land, so it doesn't work out too well for me. See, nisa has got three zero ones out. We'll see another Stone Rain play here. another protein hole because it's not what I need. Tiles track comes down. Simeon, so two Simeons and two lands is four mana. I need one more to be able to play the through the breach. Discard Summoner's Pact. Voice of Zendikar. Well, 
Blood Raven Elf into land destruction, probably. <laughs> Not Tile Tracker. Yeah, it's just so strong. I need a land. Utopia Sprawl doesn't do it. Notice here too, Lucas on 24. I'm pretty sure he gets out of reach just with gain, gain life. Me just checking to see whether or not I can actually pull this game out. <laughs> Get the Titan, and that'll be a concession, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Yeah, I try to go off. I play the through the breach. <laughs> play the protein hulk, and then everything happens at end step because I don't don't really need to do anything with it. Take with six six, he just chumps it. Gets to end step through the breach trigger, sack my protein hulk, and then I go searching. This is this is what the deck's supposed to do, but it's supposed to do it a whole lot quicker than it did. You can't see it probably because it's been sped up so fast, but I'm just going through and grabbing all the zero cost stuff. Mem Knights, Ornithopters, Walking Ballistas, and um, a couple of the... There's the Zillapur Cutthroats, the Blood Artisans, and a... The one that scries. What is it? A Vizier Seer. So they can't, they all hit the board, the ballistas die straight away, which triggers the cutthroats, and then I, I proceed, proceed to sacrifice all the zero cost stuff to Vizier Seer, triggering the zealot, sacking it all, and I'm going to let all that resolve before I, so just constantly scrying. Ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. Yeah, the, the deck's stupid fun to play. <laughs> See here, I've gone in front. He's sitting at 11, I'm at 15. 16, 10. 18, 8. Now I'm having to sack... I've ran out of triggers, so I've got to sacrifice my creatures. 20 and 6. Twenty-one and five. So I was five off in the concession. <laughs> Yeah, it's disappointing that I needed all, all of those creatures to be able to do it. And for him not to gain the life. So it's a bit of a, gr a glass cannon strategy, but... Not sure what happened here, we must have a connection issue. So I'm all getting the first hand. My luck's no better on the second hand. <laughs>
Play Play Ant Lands. Play Blue Storm 1. Bolts Blister. Missed the trigger on um, removing the counter. Burden Catacombs, Fetch a Swamp. Ah, uh, sorry, a Forest. Blue play Stomping Grounds and Stone Rain. Molten Rain. And it's probably going to be a very quick game, too. Stone Rain again. Draw not a land. And not a land again. Both at 17, but he's he's got lands and I don't, which is what's what's gonna matter here. Any kind of creatures and I'm pretty much screwed. Utopia Sprawl because he needs more mana. And Inferno Title and that's a concession. After getting absolutely stomped in the first two, can I make it in Legacy at all? We'll see if I can win a game. Again, this is another brew that I, I put together for Legacy, and I've found out that Legacy is very unforgiving, and it's almost impossible to do what you need to do, doing it that way. So Blood Moon is my only duo lands, or my only um, black sources, except for a couple of lands, are... Duos, which Blood Moon just shuts me down, so I'm pretty sure I just lose this game. But we'll see how it played out. Yeah, I just get swamped by Robert Master on this, I'm pretty sure. So how, how my deck works is, it's a discard deck with, uh, I'm running Library of Ling. So I, I have Ling out, and then it's, if I would discard a card, I can choose to put it on top of my library instead. So it's, people discard cards, or draw a card and discard a card, but I can filter my my draw, or my top decks. And then I just make it so that I punish them for having a hand with the black vies. I make them draw a heap of cards, I make them discard a heap of cards, waste knots in there for shenanigans. And then um, chains of uh, mesophides, or whatever it is. Uh, the two cost one is if you draw a card that is not your first, you have to discard a card first and then draw a card. We see Dark Waste Knot comes out here. And I've got Dark Deal in hand. But I need to get that Lang out. Yep. It's all too little too late at, at this point. Rabble, Rabble. And that's game. Goes to game two. Plays the Vyres, Mountain, Chrome Mox, Simeon, Blood Moon, and I'm pretty sure that's a concession, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>